क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मेडिकली इम्पॉर्टेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स मेजर कैटेगरीज ऑफ द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर बैक्टीरिया पंजाई वायरसेस एंड प्रोटोजोआ now we will first see what are the bacteria we know that these are the single cell micro organism that lack the nuclear membrane and they are metabolically active and divide by the band diffusion so they are the major causes of diseases also superficially the bacteria appears to be relatively simple form of life but they are and they are very sophisticated and highly adaptable also now on the basis of morphological and biochemical characteristics the bacteria medically important bacteria are classified into three groups that are the rigid thick walled flexible thin walled and wall less so here we have seen that these are the morphological character on the basis of its wall now in the rigid thick uh, thick walled it is either free living or non free living that is intracellular parasite so intracellular parasite again these are uh, examples are rickettsia and chlamydia now free living thick walled thick rigid cell wall bacteria these are again classified into three classes that are the gram positive gram negative and acid fast gram positive could be cocci and rods cocci are the streptococcus then rods could be divided again into spore forming non spore forming now spore forming bacteria in which the spores are present so they are aerobic and anaerobic example of the aerobic spore forming bacteria are bacillus anaerobic spore forming are clostridium then non spore forming filamentous form are actinomycetes and the nocardia and non spore forming non filamentous are the corynebacterium and listeria now coming to the gram negative bacteria that are the cocci and rods cocci means spherical that example is the nizeria then again rod shaped gram negative bacteria these are aerobic anaerobic and facultative so aerobic may examples are pseudomonas anaerobes are bacteroids and facultatives are again on the basis of their uh, shape they are straight or curved now straight will be respiratory on the basis of their uh, where they are uh, infect in uh, infecting the uh, that infectious uh, body part where they are causing the infection on the basis of that like if they are causing in the respiratory organ for that example is hemophilus zoonotic is brucella and parshella and enteric organism these are the escherichia and enterobacteria then facultative are also these are the facultative again now we can see that the um, uh, acid fast is one of one more group for the uh, this uh, rigid thick walled organism so this acid fast bacil uh, bacilli these are the examples are the mycobacterium okay so this is on the basis of these classes on the basis of their staining okay now coming to the second type is the flexible thin walled and example for the flexible thin walled are trypanoma leptospira and borrelia next class is the wall less in this we, uh, example is the mycoplasma now viruses viruses are again small obligate intracellular parasite okay so they need a host for their life cycle on the basis of their type structure molecular weight capsid semispre envelope presence or absence they are divided into dna viruses rna viruses then dna viruses are double stranded dna single stranded dna on the basis of their uh, capsid symmetry they could be icosahedral or complex on the basis of presence of envelope or non envelope these icosahedral again into circular and linear structure uh, dna okay so example are hepadna herpes non envelope circular are polyoma and papilloma linear are adeno now complex symmetry in this the enveloped and linear dna these are the smallpox then single stranded dna viruses if they are naked they are icosahedral linear dna and example is the parvovirus coming to the rna viruses it could be double stranded or the single stranded rna viruses generally it is we will a majority all are the single stranded only majority are the single stranded so we will see here in the medically important viruses it will be icosahedral symmetry helical symmetry or uncertain symmetry so icosahedral linear dna linear rna viruses are enveloped or enveloped non enveloped so example for the enveloped viruses flavi toga retro non enveloped are the picorna and kelsi coming to the helical symmetry single stranded rna virus they could also be enveloped here the enveloped virus is on the basis of the rna structure it is linear then linear rna so these are the example if the rna is in the circular shape rna virus and the bunya virus then uncertain symmetry is there and circular rna is there and enveloped so these are the hepatitis or the delta virus so these are the 
viruses no coming to the fungi fungi are also very important uh, parasi- uh, pathogenic organism many of the diseases are caused by, fun- by fungal infections so on the basis of their cultural characteristics and symptoms they are classified into molds and yeast now they could be aseptate and septate hypha then aseptate would be subcutaneous and systemic infections now septate hyphae uh, molds they could be monomorphic or dimorphic then monomorphic in this they could cause the sub- superficial infections the examples are microspermum trichophyton epidermatophyton and trichosporon the subcutaneous monomorphic uh, septate hyphae molds are cladosporia madurella acrimonium and pyrophora now dimorphic septate hyphae molds are systemic and superficial infectious infection causing molds so these are the histoplasma blastocyst in the systemic infection superficial infection may malaise prefer now coming to the yeast yeast could be the without pseudo hyphae or with pseudo hyphae in this if they are causing the systemic infection examples are the crypt- cryptococcus neoformans and if they they are uh, with the pseudo hyphae they could cause the cutaneous and systemic infection in which the group candida will be there now coming to the protozoa protozoa are again unicellular eukaryotes and they are also having they will also uh, be Uh, a very important medically so on the basis of their morphology they have been classified into three groups that is apicomplexa flagellates and amoeba so apicomplexa examples are plasmodium toxoplasma cryptosporidium babesia and sarcosystis flagellates are trypanosoma leishmania trichomonas and giardia and amoeba will be that is the uh, acanth amoeba and ant amoeba so these are all about the classification of the microorganisms on the which are medically important okay so now we have seen that majority of the classification has been done on the basis of their morphology in bacteria it was also the presence absence of the cell wall then in fungi it was also cultural characteristics then in the protozoa again it is on the basis of morphology and viruses it was some additional features are there like the capsid presence or absence and the symmetry and the shape of the dna so these all was, have formed the basis of uh, their classification and these are the examples that we have seen in all the groups in bacteria viruses fungi and the protozoans that they have been classified into different different groups on their those uh, classification basis and the examples are also given with those classes and with those groups that we have seen in this slide